Hello guys, welcome back to Chat and Chisel. Today we'll be going over things I do differently in Japan. If you're feeling a bit freaky, you want to get fucked on a dinosaur, there's your opportunity. So here's some things that Japan do differently. John, don't sh read. Thank you. <laughs> don't. <laughs> John, don't try and read. <laughs> don't read, try. Oh. Right, start off vending machines. Now, yeah, Ooh. that's just one street. Oh, for fuck's sake, John. Of course, <laughs> he gets all excited. <laughs> uh, what do you got? I've, I've the skills. They, got they have a vending every... machine for everything, don't they? Yeah, yeah, there's even a vending machine for a car. No joke, a smart car. I haven't put that one in what? there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's a smart car. Oh, is it just the keys or something? No idea. I just said like I was going through obviously all the different ones. Um, you can get like whole meals, ramen. This is the bug one I was on about. Oh, look at look mixed bugs. That's not a vending machine. You can just like... take it off the shelf. Oh, it's behind the glass. <laughs> I've been an idiot again. <laughs> oh my Shut god! <laughs> I couldn't see it. <laughs> I can see the glass on the edge. Now. <laughs> and, uh, how do you think vending machine work? Why don't vending machine get How stolen? How does that vending like... machine work, though? Oh, oh it's at the it. back, isn't it? Why is it not working? Mm, you're, you're like the moth or the insect that's trying to fly through the screen. It's like, why can't I get out? Oh, here we go. Here oh, we go. Eggs for days. <laughs> no, we can just... I love how you had to double it up as well. <laughs> yeah, it looks cooler. <laughs> that would le legit be my face. And then I'd have no money left because I'd buy all the eggs. Yeah. You wouldn't know which way to look. Well, that's why oh. I did both, ways. both angles covered. I think Carl says <laughs> it best. Egg. Eggs. It's... No, no. Emily's got it best. Excellent. That's not a word. Excellent. Uh, excellent. Excellent. Oh Ex Dream joy. Keep on coming. Come on. Confu this is fun for John to read. Come on. <laughs> yep. More. In fact, anything we'll get past see, preschool. <laughs> any of these plays that come off, you think of anything like good wordplay, put it on there so John has to read it. Is <laughs> this becoming an English lesson? Like, this is yes. meant to be about Japan, not about ecstasy. <laughs> X M's next to him, like, whispering in his ear what he's got to say properly. Yeah, go on. <laughs> How did you know? <laughs> ecstasy. <laughs> I'm hearing you. <laughs> <laughs> Toilets. Mm. Now, we have actually come across one of these, remember, in the other world. I got one of yeah, other worlds. Fucking hell, that's a good one. So all the toilets, loads of toilets in Japan. They do like self cleaning, play music, heat up, talk to you. It was all lit up in there. It was like go, like RGB on your toilet. <laughs> oh, there's like a lot more fascinating ones out there, but I didn't really want to film a Google history full of toilets. So a bit weird. <laughs> I tried to fit one in the UK. It's like thirty quid for like a fit on one that you put in the tap. But apparently you can't have them here because the way the toilets are, they've got like a, a separate thing for the, the water. But if you just connect it up to the supply, then it can go into the water supply. And then you're eating feeties. Feeties? <laughs> Fetuses. They, 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 feet, they feety. Poo particles, there we go. Fecal matter. Fecal matter, That's yeah. the one. Fecal matter. <laughs> We're going to have to have a good little fucking English lesson for John. We'll bring Martin really. back. <laughs> yeah, he's smart. <laughs> Compared <laughs> to John, anyway, fucking hell. But I, I do agree with the B day game. thing, to be fair. Yeah, that's a good idea. I think it's uh, just keeps it I clean. Think, not just that, it should have. I know it's a bit weird, like water sprout your arsehole, but the amount of toilet paper and stuff that gets through, obviously it's coming from trees. Surely they've got to be better fucking just jet streaming. Yeah. It's basically, it's basically a jet washer your asshole. It's like ass valeting. Yeah, you being a green, green, green just, man. It's just not just that. I just like the feeling. If it says cash, I just want something up my arse. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's not going to get cut out, is it? No. <laughs> Does it hit the G spot? I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> Next week, I'll clear eye for the straight guy. <laughs> <laughs> Next, oh, right. Today, we're going to learn how to say that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. Next. Oh, what right. are these? Are these sleeping pods? Capsule hotels, they're called, or capsule pods. Obviously, there's loads of different types. This one's look cool. Um, I'm not sure I, I feel to, about it. When I go to Japan, I'm going to stay in one just to try it out. It does seem like a really cool idea. If you're like just there, purely, you just need somewhere to rest your head for a couple of hours. So yeah, like, like really why don't they bring this in for like people that are homeless? It, you could just get anywhere else. Just stack them all, and then you can sort them out with food in the same place. You can 
give them a good start. Like, it seems like a really good idea. Although, aren't they really expensive in Japan? No, no, I, they're not like one of the cheapest ways to go to like Tokyo and stuff like that. So no. I mean, you're literally hiring a the mattress. Box. There is one in London. I think it is now. And obviously, they're in. It's not just Japan. I know that's going to come up saying, "Oh, this is not just all Japan," but obviously, that's where it originated. I believe. Probably got some twat quote me wrong. But yeah, I would. I don't know. That, not sure, sure about those ladders, mind. Especially if I'm half pissed. <laughs> not oh, exactly yeah. looks like, wow! What? I didn't even realize that was a ladder. Yeah. I thought they were like cup holders. Cup holders. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, they John look can like have one of these for the garage. It's <laughs> <Uh-oh. laughs> catching up with me on the trouble. <laughs> He's going to have his own doghouse soon. Better than a sofa. Comes with TV and aircon. Yeah, then most of them got like, uh, TVs. That's cool. There. I was just looking at right. it going, where the fuck would you They vary, so obviously, like each one. On I that can one. see headphones then. So this is a what love hotel. Fuck? So in Japan, they've got love hotels, which you can hire for like in hours rather than nights. You can obviously guess what that entails, but they've got all sorts of weird ass rooms like this one. So if you're feeling a bit freaky, you want to get fucked on a dinosaur, there's your opportunity. Or if you want to be like a mermaid, <laughs> you want to reenact. Oh, fucking hell. What's that crab's name from? Um, I love how that's what you go to. You want to get <laughs> fucked on a dinosaur. I'm just saying, look, there's I a mean, sad thing how but romantic it, i'm in fair. i'm getting fucked what? on a dinosaur no i'm fucking someone, on the dinosaur <laughs> someone has clearly demanded it enough that they put one in there that's all i'm saying <laughs> for all the sex emily can be like ariel from the mermaid you could be sebastian the crab in the shell or you could lie there in a diaper and be like oh, i'm your little oyster your <laughs> little pearl <laughs> there's a dino hotel about. I like that. <laughs> it's a love hotel as well <laughs> Uh, there is another one. I have actually got it just for John. I think this one is going to work one for his uh, honeymoon, actually. The next love hotel room. If you'd like to, go to the next one. The food hotel. <laughs> yeah, you'd love it. There's no skittles. Wow. Well, no. There's watermelon. Done. You think I want watermelon? How <laughs> <laughs> dare you? You don't even know think, me, bro. <laughs> I don't think you'd want to get fucked on that cake or whatever. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm okay with that. <laughs> next <laughs> not for that and now, of course he I'll, goes to beer no it's because did you know this in Japan it's not illegal to drink in public so loads of will just go out in public and drink our parties in the park etc etc I obviously added the three beers in question because of us in our video the Japanese drinking challenge trying to say these words remember Sapporo uh, <laughs> Asahi obviously was very difficult for us all Asahi and all this shit we kept going and then I'm not even going to say the last one again because I still don't know how to pronounce it properly although it was my favourite Kiri Ishiban <laughs> why do you say it with an accent <laughs> He's that's how we said it in the video man Kiri <laughs> <laughs> Ishiban <laughs> no that was Sapporo Sapporo get John to say that it's Sapporo Asahi Asahi Kiri Ishiban we're probably brewed for good times. Oh, now can you guess what this is? I'm going. I'm looking at Jace for this one. <laughs> of course. What is it, Jace? You know what this is. It's definitely some sort of maid cafe type thing. It's exactly yeah. what that is. It's a maid. Cafe. I was wondering if it had some special <laughs> theme other than that. But no, but there is. Really... The next two are all calf. So. In Japan, another thing they do differently is they have made calves, they have cosplay calves, and then the third one, I'll just let you go to the slide. But I don't know how I feel about that. You feel a bit awkward, you know? It's the cosplay <laughs> I, calf. We think you have a Pokemon calf. No, it's a cosplay The whole calf. idea of yeah, the no. made cafe thing, like, I don't really get the appeal of it. Cosplay thing might be kind of cool, you know. I can't someone... see it being a long-term thing, though, because, like, who wants Japan. to get dressed up in cosplay every day? Well, you put, clearly they must, you know, they I exist. Japan, so though, they're over so they really love that shit over there. Yeah. What are you saying? They really love it. We'd obviously go there. I mean, you yeah, know, because like... we're fucking nerds, but... Yeah, sure. I'm going to say, you think I'll go to Japan and not go to one of these places. You are very wrong. Make sure you bring a T-shirt back as well, like you did last time. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't matter. John won't buy you any anyway. <laughs> Damn fucking right, all right. <laughs> now, can you guess what this is? Your dream. Okay, this is intimacy, yeah. John. You wouldn't know what it is. No, no. I meant to know. I don't know why I thought everyone might have a serious uh, suggestion. No. But okay. It's someone. Is it a pod? No. Is it a woman that you hire? Yes. Yes. Or for what? Uh, I don't for know. <laughs> you see it in his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Not sex. No. 
Uh, this is where you can hire someone just to sleep next to them. Um, <clears throat> uh, additional services include eye contact for one minute, stroking their hair for three minutes. Okay. <laughs> You're having a bad day, and you, you want to miss <laughs> someone, but you haven't got to miss it. I just want to cuddle. <laughs> Cuddle's so, right. I don't know whether you're being serious. Then is you generally pay extra for them to look at you? That is generally some of the optional extras. Yes, uh, no, no touching, obviously, no sex or anything like that. Yeah, emotional escort. That's perfect. <laughs> oh my god, yes. Yeah, that wins. I reckon the reason it's so popular is yes, because obviously uh, Japanese people work a lot of hours. It's actually seen. It's <laughs> too small for John. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually, like you, the idea is in Japan you're meant to stay there until the boss leaves then you leave after and you'll stay there as long as obviously he does it's stupid they don't take all their holidays it seems as being like you're ruining it for the rest of the team like it's, it's all bollocks one reason I wouldn't want to work over there is for that because I would yeah. not wait for the boss leave I'd be like now nah, off you fuck I'm having all my holiday they would hate me and that means I wouldn't have any of an emotional escort, though. So it is a mad thing, isn't Surely it? Surely you'd be the emotional escort. I'm not having some weird uh, Japanese bloke stare into my eyes for a minute. <laughs> Especially not that one. I picked him on purpose because the face. <laughs> I see, yeah, you'd be the I worst emotional friend. escort because you'd just be like picking out every fault that anyone ever makes. Like you yeah. are fuck ugly. Speaking mistakes. <laughs> 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 What are you doing with your life? Go outside. Is that a spot? Yeah, Go on a hike. <laughs> but seriously, their work ethic is so like, why would you do that to yourself? We already suffer in our mind as much as it is with the whole, you know, work life balance type thing. And yeah, that's just that. that. Yeah, they just don't have a balance. They just have work. That's why they reckon that they exactly. drink so much. Well, oh, Japanese they drink so much. Don't yeah, they? I reckon it's a big problem. No, look it up. There's a big problem over there because of all the stress, and they smoke like fucking chimneys. Energy drink over there is a massive thing. They've got tons of them because they want to stay away. I think I fit in really well there. They drink a lot, they smoke a lot, and they drink energy drinks a lot. And it's very uh, lots of lonely women, apparently. Just have to cover up with tattoos. Fine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Done. <laughs> <laughs> Now, um, what the hell? <laughs> no, this this is why I think I would do well in Japan. This is a job. So the people on there, the, they're not conductors or anything like that. Their job is literally to push people onto trains to get as many people on there as they can. Push us. No, you'd break ribs and shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's why I'd love it. <laughs> but imagine there's some like increase in broken ribs in Japan. <laughs> yeah, but there's also <laughs> five extra people on every people. train. <laughs> But efficiency on trains has gone up. Exactly. <laughs> it's gone up 100%. <laughs> How have we got twice as many people on? <laughs> if you crack all their rib cages, you can fit twice as many. Exactly. <laughs> and like the Marilyn Manson joke, we were, um, Marilyn Manson thing we all were told in school, it's fine. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wait, what? There we go. That's what Alex would need to wear in Japan to cover up his tattoos. <laughs> <laughs> How would you drink? <laughs> What I do you mean, how many drink? Look how much storage space he's got inside that head for alcohol. <laughs> yeah, it's, 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 just, it's just like a fucking bar in his head. I, ain't, yeah, I, ain't got I was thinking them. more like a fish bowl, but yeah, we could go with bar. <laughs> <laughs> a, actually, you know what? I think I've got something I can take with me. Give me one sec. Oh. <laughs> Sorted. You know, I haven't got one of them what he's got. Can you put your head in it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love how you show your face up. Put it on yeah. then. It's stuck to go with my headphones, is it? All right, let's get to the next slide. Of course, right. alcohol again. Was this bad? No, it's not alcohol. It's not a bar either. So um, over there, it's not seen as like weird to go and eat meals out on your own. So they have little parts, so you can just go on your own. You don't have to look at the chef. Your food's like <laughs> all done, done, or like through the machines and stuff. The chef doesn't even look at you. So you. But can you go to the there. cinema on your own and not be called weird? No, that's weird. Very weird. That's like, yeah. No, I don't get it. Like, you're not talking to them, but you can go with them. <laughs> anyway. It's lying. But yeah, just another thing I do to over there. I guess this is Actually, part like of the whole cult work culture thing as well, isn't it? Oh, what, what what's that? <laughs> oh, why did I trust you with slides, I'm man? 
I mean, <laughs> no, real. Put me a open quiz. The queen. Here's a quiz, guys. What do you think this means? Maybe there's a reward of like a, an amount of money through a certain transactional company online. And and John is the uh, currency, apparently. <laughs> Moving swiftly on. See if our commenters. <laughs> no, no one needs to pick it up. Uh, commenters, shush, shush, shush. <laughs> you're not getting 10 quid off me. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Carl's like, I'm still waiting. <laughs> <laughs> John, wait a long time, John is laundering fake, terrible <laughs> fake banknotes. <laughs> I really reckon. <laughs> Ignore the angel in the background. Don't worry about him. It's fine. <laughs> it looks so good. <laughs> right. Thanks for watching, you guys. Don't forget to like. Comment, subscribe, and touch yourself. We're off to the pub now. Um, so if you could please donate just a little bit of beer money, that'd be great. Money, please. I'm poor. He's not poor. He's lying. Everyone comment. Bob, Bob, Bob. Everyone comment. Ask for John's bank account details. No. He asked her for the commenters. I haven't got a PayPal. Leave me alone. He has a PayPal. Just comment. Ten pound PayPal. PayPal. <laughs> Fuck my life. Fuck you. <laughs> right, we'll be back next week. Thanks for watching. See you then. See you at the pub.